Hi, I'm Mark Finley. In 1995, the Seventh-day Adventist Church made a major breakthrough in evangelism. For the first time, we satellited the message of God to thousands throughout North America. And later, those satellite events became well known as net events as we satellited to the world. We've conducted as a church more than 200 different satellite evangelistic events. Between 1.5 and 2 million people have been baptized. I've conducted 20 to 25 of those net events on every continent in the world, except, of course, Antarctica. We would have con conducted a meeting there, but there's just penguins there and not too many people would respond. You know, I am so thankful for what God has done through net evangelism. Many people have asked the question, is net evangelism passe? Is it out of, is it out of date? North America is being impacted by media, and every net event draws tens of thousands of people. Our net events have changed through the years. It, not only do we use churches as locations, but now we can use internet. Net events are much more interactive. There is a net event that is coming in 2011 that personally I am incredibly excited about. My friend Ron Cosé will be holding those meetings. And Ron, you've been dreaming about some new ideas for a net event. How will Net 211 be different than some of the things we've done in the past? Thanks for asking, Mark. We are really excited about getting involved in this Net event. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things that we'd like to do is provide a year-long training uh, for churches in North America, smaller churches, churches that do not have a lot of uh, resources and do not know exactly how to do evangelism effectively. So with the NETI team that we have, the North American Division Evangelism Institute, would like to provide that and, and um, be not simply an event, but also a process that leads to an event such as uh, the prophecy meetings in September. Now, let's suppose that I am a pastor of a three-church district and uh, my membership is 60, 70, 80, you're suggesting that the resources of the NATI team can help me to prepare for an event? How will that happen practically? Well, we'll try, we're going to try to do some uh, DVDs and produce some published materials and uh, take it, uh, do a step-by-step -step process of how each of those churches can do that. We are going to be thinking particularly of the smaller church that usually doesn't have these kinds of re resources. So this event in 2011 is not simply a one-off event, but it is rather part of an elongated process of churches that will be praying, studying God's Word, reaching out to their friends and neighbors. Absolutely, yes, that will include uh, you know, spiritual revival type of events and, and things of that nature that can help our churches wake up to the need to reach out to our neighbors and friends. Uh, something else that we'd like to do is uh, also do a few broadcasts that will be unique, such as a creation broadcast or an archaeology broadcast. And that is something that most churches could not probably produce. We'll do that at a high quality professional level and that is going to be a good excuse to invite friends and neighbors to, to these meetings and prepare them uh, you know, get them acclimated to the churches so that when the prophecy seminars come, they are more likely to attend them. What specific, what specific dates are your prophecy seminars on? We're talking about uh, September 30th would be opening night all, and then four weeks after that till uh, October 29. And where will they be held? They will be held in Nashville at the Madison Campus Church, a large church in Nashville, and we have a, a strong uh, Adventist community there. And they'll be uplinked from Nashville, Tennessee. And what will the theme of your meetings be? It'll be uh, Prophecies Decoded. In fact, that will be the website, prophesiesdecoded.com or .org or .net, uh, and uh, that it'll be centered on prophecy and in, uh, in see how relevant it is uh, to the lives of people today. What if my church doesn't participate? Is there any way as an individual I can participate? Are you doing anything on internet or streaming video? Uh, very good question. We'd like to really maximize the social networks. We'd like to really do, because that's, that's the way to, to connect with people today. So we're trying to find some people that will be savvy and helpful 
to, to really maximize our opportunities. We'll make that available through our website. We'll inform people through that and through communiques to the various conferences as to how to do that. Ron, suppose I'm a local pastor and I'm thinking about doing this, but I'm not quite sure. I'm wondering if anybody's going to come to the church. Uh, we've tried some evangelistic events like this before. Maybe they haven't been as successful. What can you say to me to help me to want to participate? I have found in evangelism there are three uh, keys to success, and I have found that it will always produce success. One is the preaching and teaching of God's Word, and that will be the responsibility of the preachers and those who are visiting and answer questions and so forth. So that is mostly something that the pastors and members don't deal with. Uh, unless the pastor is actually doing the series. The second is the careful and, and steady prayer intercession of members. I, th I think that prayer is a, a key factor in the conversion of people. And the third and the most important is the, the involvement of my members. If I can do just a little bit, if I can be a greeter, if I can help with the children's meetings, if I can help with music, if I can help with registration, uh, then the Lord is going to be using you for, for the sake of other people and the meetings will be successful. Pastor Ron, thank you so much for sharing with us today and I'm excited about these meetings. Yeah. I know God is going to bless them. Thank you. Thank you. We're looking forward to it. And friend of mine, God wants to do something big in your church. God wants to impact your city with the gospel. You, as a pastor, can lead your church to a new experience with Jesus in outreach. Why not get involved in this North American net event with thousands of other churches. God will bless you and your church as you do.